Beaver Dam Police Chief says he's dealing with that city's first homicide in nearly three decades. A weekend shooting leaving one woman dead and the alleged suspect behind bars tonight. Brett Lemoyne live in the newsroom with late breaking information about the victim. Ted, we've just learned that the victim in this case worked as an assistant state's attorney in DeKalb County, Illinois. Her employer is telling us tonight this is a domestic abuse case, one with the worst possible outcome. Blaring police sirens filling an otherwise quiet neighborhood near 3rd and University Saturday. Someone got shot. Oh, he shot somebody? Somebody uh, shot a female in the bathroom. Cell phone video capturing the arrest of Ulysses Medina Espinosa. Police say he's responsible for shooting Stacia Hollinshead of Sycamore, Illinois, inside this duplex. Hollinshead worked as an assistant state's attorney in DeKalb County, Illinois. Her employer says Hollinshead is the victim of domestic violence. Stacia was 30 years old, a native of Effingham, Illinois, a U.S. Army intelligence analyst for 11 years, and a graduate of the Northern Illinois University College of Law. She began working for our office this past November. Although Stacia has been with our office only a few months, we quickly came to know her as a dedicated mother and prosecutor with a bright future in the practice of law. Beaver Dam's a really quiet town. Like I, I don't even remember the last time I've ever heard of a homicide happening in this town. Brandon Darnick lives just one street away. He says he worked with Espinosa and is shocked. Right now they're sleeping, so we're just leaving. Yeah. So sorry. A man came out of the home to tell us others inside are safe and added he doesn't know what happened here Saturday. Police say the shooting happened at around 2:45. Espinosa was taken into custody moments later at the same address. He's currently behind bars at the Dodge County Detention Facility. Neighbors admit even though this seems like an open and shut case, they still have a lot of questions. And police stress there is no threat to the public tonight and no officers or neighbors were harmed during this incident. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Thanks for the update, Brett.